Here's my 20 minute intro to my hair review. Isn't it so fabulous? Don't you just love it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's enough of that. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Merv and today I'm gonna to be sharing my experience with the Beauty Forever Malaysian Curly Hair. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. That rhymes. Hmm. Clever, clever girl. Girl, your melanin poppin'. It's poppin'. Don't let nobody stop it. Don't let nobody stop it. All right, guys, so as I mentioned, this hair is from beautyforever.com. It is the Malaysian Curly. I got four bundles in 222s, 224s, and a 20 inch frontal. And I paid $283.20 for it. I'm very sorry I didn't have a YouTube channel when I first got this hair. So I don't have the unboxing and how I made uh, the unit and everything. But obviously moving forward I will share all that information with you guys. But I thought it would be good to just share how the hair has held up. I think sometimes that's more important than you know showing it fresh out of the box because everything pretty much looks the same out of the box um, but I just wanted to share with you how the hair is holding up and what my experience has been with it I did order four bundles like I just said but I did not need it and to be honest with you guys even this I feel like is a lot of hair on my head this is how much I have left I have like maybe I don't I don't know however much this is and an entire bundle left over so if I'm being perfectly honest, uh, three bundles is more than plenty for you to um, achieve like a really big full curly haired look if that's what you're going for. This is one of the 20, one of the 22s I'm going to assume, um, but let me bring it out of the bag. It just comes like, you know, packaged like that with a little rubber band around it. Here is the hair and let me take it out of its little net. So this is what it comes looking like. Um, <laughs> if you watched my review of my deep way from China Lace Wigs, if you have not seen that by the way, go ahead and check out that video. But if you saw that review, you know that I don't really like very, very curly hair. Uh, I prefer more of a wave. So when I saw this out of the bag, I was very um, intimidated. I was very like, oh, this is not going to work out. Uh, even my boyfriend was like really scared of this hair. Like, well, what are you doing with that? Um, but I, you know, I gave it a chance. Let me show you guys the parting on this frontal. Let me get a little closer. So here it is. I tinted the legs. It's pretty deep, so that's good. Uh, I tinted the lace and put a little bit of um, powder on it just for today, but I didn't really need to. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. I did not pluck. I did not pluck the um, the the frontal at all. Um, this is just how it came pretty much um what else do i have to say okay so let's talk about the curls so here are the curls pretty 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 well defined you know i mean these are some curl 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 curls and they come back very quickly i'm not gonna lie to you i've had it ever since at least early may and when i finished making the wig i did not like the way it came out at all i've had it um in the closet hung up and just like what am i going to do with this i don't want to take a 200 dollars l on this hair i don't like it so i played around with it i wore it several times and just was never feeling the way it looked so I just really, I really played a, a, a around a lot with this hair to get the look that I have today, which is somewhat decent. I'm still not like over the moon about it, but I felt like it was good enough to um, share with you guys. It's not that there's anything wrong with the hair per se. It's just like maybe not so much my style. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but 
whatever that's another issue i say all that to say that i brushed out the entire unit like entire hair until the hair was like out to here it was huge and i was like this thing is a goner i will never bring back the curl because i just fucked it up and there's no going back however my water and tresemme conditioner mix which i always have on hand with my curly hair it's just water and it's just conditioner um in a bottle that i spray on the hair i sprayed that on this hair and it literally came back like this like but i don't rinse out the um conditioner i spray it down brush it with a denim brush and this is how it came out it's oh it's dried it has air dried overnight and this is what it came back looking like let me get a little closer so you guys can really get a look at the hair so here it is i mean it's even starting to grow on me and i really hated it <laughs> i really hated it at first but um it's growing on me as far as tangling uh there's a little bit of tangling uh with all curly hair, I think that's going to be the case, but it's not terrible. Also, what I will say is this hair gets very, very frizzy. The more you touch it, the more you like run your fingers through it and everything, it it gets it gets puffy. Um, but I kind of like the um, the frizzy kind of messy look. It looks a little more natural to me. So I, I'll put my fingers through this a little bit just to kind of give it more volume a little more f natural frizziness um, because I like that but if you want to keep the curls really defined and really perfect you absolutely can do that just to keep them in the pattern that it's in right now it's really really pretty shedding this hair does shed so this is how much hair came out um, from yesterday actually now that i think about it maybe it's not that much for curly hair you know you guys you gotta you gotta have realistic expectations yeah it's medium shedding i wouldn't say that it's insignificant but it's not awful either it's kind of to be expected with um curly hair so this is how many bundles this is a frontal and maybe two and a half bundles and it's huge. Here, let me turn around. And it's a lot. So I, I, I feel like I have hair on my head with my other units. I like them to feel like very light and airy, but this, you know, I made the unit, I made the wig um, and it feels like I have like a lot of hair <laughs> on my head. It's weighing me down a little bit, but you know, not not the worst feeling in the world. It's not my hair, so I feel like I have something on, but it's not terrible. As far as the hair being easy to maintain, uh, I can't say that it is all that easy because I had to really do a lot to achieve this look. It wasn't like as, you know easy peasy you know make the wig and throw it on and, and go it wasn't like that for me I had to really maneuver it and get it to look the way I wanted it to look but once I achieve that it, it's not terrible um, I can always do an update video for you guys you know in a month or so to let you know how the hair has held up Maintenance, I would say, is definitely um, a medium to difficult. I got I got this in whatever the natural color is. I rarely go for like you know different colors. I just go for uh, the natural or one B or whatever it is. Um, I don't really like the way jet black hair looks on me. So yeah, I usually have in the natural color. If not, of course, I would always let you guys know. And I don't have anything else in my notes to talk about with you guys. <laughs> so I think 
I think that is that's it. So let me know your thoughts below if you are if you've been thinking about getting anything from Beauty Forever, if you have it, what your experience has been with it, how you like it, you know, if you're digging it on me, if I should keep it cuz I'm not even sure yet if I should keep this hair um I I don't know. You guys let me know what to do cuz it just lost, okay? Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. Um, leave me your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more hair reviews and things of that sort. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I got this yellow eyed look, so let's get to it.